Hey, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to run your local web server behind HTTPS, like this. Let's jump into it. First, I'll create a dev container for the application. I'm going to be using Next.js in this application, so I'll pick Node, but pick whatever is appropriate for your app. I'll wait a bit for my dev container to start up. Once finished, I'll quickly create a boilerplate Next.js app and verify that I can reach the server while running within the dev container. Next, we'll migrate the existing dev container config to utilize Docker Compose instead of just Docker. In the dev container JSON file, we'll replace the reference to the Docker file with a reference to a new Docker Compose file, along with some additional required configs. Now, we'll create that Docker Compose file. In that file, we'll add a service with a name and working directory that matches the dev container JSON file that we just added. We'll add a volume mount of our local working directory and provide a command to make sure the Docker container stays alive after startup. Finally, we'll rebuild the dev container and verify it's still working with the Docker Compose setup. Now that we have Docker Compose set up, we can get HTTPS set up by adding a caddy reverse proxy. To start, I'll create a caddy file which will define the routing config. I'll tell caddy to host on localhost 3000 by adding a top level block. Next, TLS internal to tell Caddy to use self-signed SSL certs. And finally, we'll define a reverse proxy to our dev container. Now, we'll add a Caddy service to our Docker Compose file. We'll add a volume mount for the Caddy file that we just created and forward port 3000 from the Caddy server. Then, we'll add a shared network for our containers so they can communicate together. Finally, a volume for Caddy so that the certs are persisted after the initial build. Now, let's rebuild the dev container and check out localhost 3000. The first thing you'll notice is this error page. We get this because we've configured caddy to serve over HTTPS. If we change the address to HTTPS, we get this unsafe certificate warning, but we can click past that since we know it's our own server. All right, now we're serving over HTTPS, but you don't wanna to have to click past that warning every time, right? Luckily, we can get around that by adding Caddy's cert to our machine's trusted authorities. To do this, we'll use Docker to copy Caddy's root cert to our local machine. Then we'll run PowerShell as administrator and trust the cert with the cert util command. Now, if we go back to the browser and refresh the page, we can see that we no longer get that cert warning. If you're using Windows Subsystem for Linux and want requests from there to work too, you'll need to add the cert the Unix way as well. The approach here is pretty much the same, only to use the update CA certificates command instead. Now we can make requests from WSL too. Next, we'll take this a step further by spoofing our local machine to an actual DNS entry. We'll open up our system's host file. Let's say we want example.dev to resolve to our web server. We'll create a host entry for that, save the file, and go back to our dev container config. The first thing we'll do here is update the caddy service to forward ports 80 and 443 for standard HTTP traffic. Next, we'll update the caddy file so it's configured to host on example.dev. Finally, we'll remove the caddy container so caddy will restart when we rebuild the dev container. Once the dev container is finished building, we'll head over to the browser and we can load our local web server on example.dev. As a final tip before I wrap the video up, if you have the PowerToys app on Windows, there is a host file editor tool that makes it a bit easier to modify your host file than manually with a text editor, like we did in this video. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding!